Hey everybody, it's Blue Totem. Welcome back to New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. And now, it is time, I believe, since we've done Shifting Floor Cave, to actually go back a little bit, because I believe that there is actually a shortcut thing, secret exit, that I didn't find in Walking Prior Plants that I need to find. So, I can also use a Super Acorn to help myself get through here. Back in Walking Piranha Plants, we need to find the secret exit, which I believe is actually near the end. And this might not even be what I think it is. But I feel like I should be able to do what I'm trying to do. Okay. It's nice to being able to go quickly through this level. Ah, uh, but anyway. Let's go all the way through here. Okay. There's a whole bunch of walking piranha plants here. Which is a good sign, I believe. Okay. Because now... If we go down here, there's actually a pipe that we could very easily miss at the very end of the level. Which allows us to go through here. To the red flag. That's a very easy to miss secret, considering it's at the very end and not where you'd expect it to be. Which I guess means it's a good secret, and it is World 6 after all. But anyway... That opens up a path around the blue switch here. Which we don't really need because we've already got the secret shortcut from... The mid castle over here, which allows us to go... To... That point... With the red switch enabled anyway. But as you can see, that enables a lot of blocks on the overworld that allows us to go from this second mid castle to the end castle of this world. But I'm not going to do that just at the moment. Just because I want to do the end castle normally first. So let's head into Roy's Conveyor Castle. Those combination of words means a lot of things to me. And I'm quite, quite okay with it. I'm very okay with this. We have these conveyor belts which move these blocks around. Which could be good in some cases, or could be bad in some cases, because this these ones would block up this exit. But I mean, they do make a path over into it for a few seconds, but not a ton of time. Also, there's a secret one up up there in a block that you can't see off screen. Uh, but anyway, let's move along now. And there's a lot of these blocks, and some of them even go into the lava once they reach a certain point. So we need to be careful of that. Um, but we need to ride the blocks into the areas. So I think there's probably a secret around here somewhere, right there. So if we can get into that pipe, which is a little bit difficult to wall jump properly when you have the squirrel suit. Okay, I need to get that block before the well, I need to get that coin before the block does. So I might need jumping is a good, good thing because when you have the conveyor belt pushing you back, you want to be jumping so it's not pushing you back as much. That's a well placed. Ah, uh, what's it called? Star coin block thing. Anyway, let's grab that one up. Not too risky. Especially if you're on the second block there. Also, where are these red coins? I kind of want to check. Okay. Interesting, 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 interesting. Very interesting. Okay, another one up. And now we're at the checkpoint. Which is good for us. Also, in, uh, like, castles or... Uh, end castles or mid castles, it usually gives you a ice flower, is what I normally find in these levels. Okay, uh, well, let's hit this switch here, activating all these blocks, which is pretty cool. Uh, but now, let's go onward, and we're at the end of the level, but we don't have the third star coin, which... I'm assuming it's down that way, but we can't get through there because this way only goes from that way. With those platforms there stopping us from getting through. 
But now let's take a look at the boss and then get the third star coin. And actually, it might be beneficial to actually die in the level after getting the checkpoint. Quite possibly. I might be wrong about that. It depends on where everything is in the level. But anyway, here's Roy, who's not quite in an airship, but still, it's pretty cool here. We've got these floating platforms. He's also got a huge shell, so we need to be careful of that. And he's also got a bullet bill cannon to shoot at us with. How long is he gonna spin for? Oh, that much. That much. Is that, that, okay, it's fine. I just lost my fire flower. Okay, out again. But that is it for him. I'm sure the platforms reappeared if I let him get back up a little bit more. But anyway, that is that boss done. And now we can go to World 7. Save all that. But now we need to get that third star coin, which we need to go all the way around through all of this to go to. I love these platforms that are made out of, like, the paths that are rails. I really like that. But anyway, we can actually go all the way back here into the back of Roy's Conveyor Castle, which is a back entrance, which also has... It, it's, it's a different area, which I really love that as a concept. Ah, uh, but anyway, we need to get a star coin here somewhere. So let's activate all these platforms to get around and quickly get over here to get the star coin before that blocks off. And now we just need to go fight the boss again, which is right over there, but I died. Because I slipped off the platform. It turns out the momentum just doesn't, doesn't disappear instantly as soon as you land on a platform. You need to actually stop by going in the other direction a little bit more. Anyway, let's try this again. Give me the mushroom. I need it. I want it. Also, this could count as the uh, power up before the boss if you play your cards right. Okay, I need to duck through here. Unless there is a second block somewhere in here somewhere, which I wouldn't doubt. Uh, but anyway, we. Yeah, no, it doesn't look like there. No, there is actually a power up there. So you get a full two power-ups if you go that way. Also means you can just get to the boss very quickly. It depends on what you want to do, really. To get through the world faster or just get everything. Or we'll play every level. It's up to you. Uh, but anyway, we need to take out Roy again, otherwise we can't save our star coin. Ow. He moves slightly back whenever he shoots out of his bullet bill cannon. Ow. That's not good. I need to not die, please. I got two power-ups before this. So I need to not die. Gonna let him jump. Stay off the ground when he hits the ground. Also, he can stand on those platforms, so you need to be very extra careful when he's jumping around. But there we go. And now this is this world complete. All of the secret exits, all of the star coins, all of the regular exits, everything. That also links back after doing it from the back entrance. Got all the star coins in rock candy mines. That's going to mean something good, right? Yes, it does. But for now, let's keep going. Since now we're up to World 7, which actually connects back to World 5 in Soda Jungle from the Dark Woods. Also, Kamek's at that mid-castle. And there it is. Okay. Land of Flying Blocks. 
because we're in the clouds. I really love this. Marine clouds. It's just... I don't know what it is about World 7 in the New Super Mario Bros. games, but the World 7 is usually pretty good in its design. Just to, just on the overworld, it's so good. Anyway. Got all sorts of things to look at now. Oh, I love this. I love this background. It's so cool. I, I really like this. But anyway, we need to find a power-up as soon as possible because I still don't have one. Also, this cloud platform moves. Ah, uh, but luckily it doesn't make us bounce whenever we're on top of it. Because that could be bad. If we weren't careful. Also, I love these blocks spawning in like this. Need a power-up. Let's grab that quickly. Oh, that's a spring. I need to probably take that with me. To over here so we can bounce up. And go through this pipe. Although I should have probably grabbed the star coin. I might be in trouble. I'm sure it's fine. Also, that was concerning for a second when there was no platform. But now there is platform. We can grab that star coin. But now we have another problem. Because there's the second star coin. Which possibly... Oh, not like that. Not like that. I might... Oh, there we go. That's how you do it. Oh, that's rude. It disappears if you don't grab it fast enough. That power-up block. But that's okay. Let's just go through this pipe. Also, those two star coins have, were very close together. Which concerns me. Oh, hello. There's a lot of stuff happening right now. There's a lot of stuff happening right now. Okay, Super Acorn. This is good. Oh, I can't break that. That's fine. I don't need the red coins right now. Okay. Another Super Acorn. Oh, I need that. Oh, I need that. I'm guessing that there's only... Oh, dear. I was trying to fly there, but I think because I was ground pounding and there was no ground, it stopped... It didn't stop ground pounding, but you're supposed to be out of... I don't know. Well, that's a shame, but we got a checkpoint, and now we just need to make sure we can get in there. We don't need two power-ups, we just need one to get in there. There's also the red coins that I could possibly get if I really need the power-up. Okay, that might have been a bit too fast because now they're gonna do all sorts of weird things. Got it, somehow, and I get a super acorn from that. Although I probably would have just gotten a super acorn from this block anyway. Also, how did I just do that? I don't know. Uh, anyway, let me go into the middle. Grab that quickly. There is more area there to get in. The game, the game's a lot more forgiving than I give it credit for. Okay, we're safe. We're so safe. Good. Great. This looks like the end. And it is. Very nice. Also love the bricks being rainbow. And just, it's, yeah, there's too much cool stuff here. I love this world. I don't know why. I don't know what it is. It just works in my brain. Ah, uh, hmm. <laughs> this is, uh, interesting. Very interesting. I don't know if I want, I don't think I want a super crown. I'm gonna grab that. Oh boy. Ah, uh, I don't know which one I have. It's fine. I don't know which one of these to grab. It's so fine. Ah, uh, anyway. Hopefully I have the right stuff, because otherwise it doesn't matter anyway. No, I got a Bowser. And I would have been, if I didn't get the Bowser, I would have been fine as well. But there we go. On that day, nothing happened. And let's go to the next level. Seesaw Shrooms. Very nice. Very, very nice. Well done, Nintendo. You made seesaws out of platforms, and they also tilt if you're on them too long. On one side, but also, hey, Yoshi. Let's grab some of those. All of the fruit. 
Also need to grab... Oh, we can't ground pound. We actually have to go down this way. Grab that. This is a cool level to have Yoshi for. Also, did I just eat the coin? You can grab coins with Yoshi. I would have thought that that wouldn't work, but all right. Oh, I need to be careful when I go through this pipe area. Also, I, I'm super concerned that one of these pipes is just going to be like an actual pipe that we can use. And I'm just going to miss it because there's so many of them that I don't really know. Uh, but anyway, let's grab this one up from getting all of the lives. Also, if you get a spiny shell in your mouth, it it's like a regular shell and you can shoot it around. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Uh, hey, maybe if I go up here. Oh, there goes Yoshi. That's fine. We can go up here and get a star coin. So that one is fairly well hidden. Uh, but anyway, let's float to victory. I feel like I'm going to miss something if I'm not careful. So let's go a little bit slowly. We've also got these changing size mushroom platforms again. Oh boy. I'll grab that. Thank you very much. I think you're supposed to use Yoshi to bounce off of the fuzzies to get in there. But my way works too. And now we should be close to the end, which this is the end. And we're already up to the mid castle. This world is this world seems a lot shorter than I thought it was. How many how many levels are there after the mid castle? Oh, there's a few. Okay, so it's not too short. But it seems short compared to the previous world. Because the previous world had a lot of paths. Uh, anyway, we have this platform here which we need to stand on top of to make it move in the direction that the arrow changes to. Um, but also, this is going to be interesting. Let me go down here. Duck. Okay. I need that, and I need to get out of here. It's giving you a... Uh, Oh, hello. These ro these cannons rotate, so change direction in the whole stack. Uh, but it's giving you a nice flower so you can uh, freeze the bullet bills to make platforms. Well, so I see that, and I don't know if I want that, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to go down here into the wall. I, mm, I kinda, I'm, I'm kind of okay with, with this right now. Also, this is just going to... No, it isn't. Oh, I wonder if that was going to give me a star power if I got a star power in the from the the shuffle block. Okay, this looks like an interesting room. Also, I love bullet hells in this game for some reason. I feel like this isn't that bad for a bullet hell room, I suppose. But there, there's, there's, I'm pretty sure there's some good ones in this game, unless I'm thinking about something else, which is always entirely possible. Okay, let's go carefully. <laughs> so careful. Also, I love the way that it dropped the coins. Oh, did I miss a secret? Did I miss a secret by not going down in the previous area? Ah, oh, it's fine. Okay, what I do need to worry about, though, is this thing, where I drop that, and it just drops a star coin up there, which activates the platform, so I need to get to that before it knocks it off with something. But hey, this is a quite a nice trip up here. Because once it gets to this, um, this bit here, it'll knock the coin off. So we need to go fast. It's also nice of it to give me so many bullet bills here for extra points, because whenever you land on a flagpole, it kills all the extra enemies on screen. And gives you points for each one, adding up more each time. And then turning into one-ups as well, so... That worked out very well for me. Okay, mid-castle. Slide lift tower. Okay, I like these platforms as well. I don't know, it's just... The way that they move around each other is nice. Ah, uh, but I'm 
probably going to have some trouble moving around them. Uh, is that a secret in the wall there? I don't know if it is. Or if I could even get in there. It's probably not worth trying. Just keeping my eye out for secrets. Since we're in a mid-castle. And there usually is secrets in a mid-castle, so... In the walls and all that. My eyes are peeled. Just need to not get crushed in here. By these platforms. Oh, that's not good for me. Let's get rid of you. What's with that little hole... ...here? What's with that? I think that's supposed to be like that. It almost looks like it's supposed to not be like that, but also it's definitely supposed to be like that. Uh, maybe if I ground pound? No. Is there anything up here? Nope. Other than the star coin that I already got. So far, very... ...simple. Oh, flame bars. That's a good, good addition to this level. Okay. I'm gonna dodge that. Um, what's over here? Is there anything over here? I feel like there's something if I go down. No, really? Is that just an option, optional path? I, su I suppose so. Um, I feel like everything's an optional path at this point. Please hit him, thank you. Uh, nothing up that way. There might be something in that wall over there, but that's f turned fully green. Uh, coins and also a pipe. Let's go on that. This is a huge room, very zoomed out, which is good for us. Uh, but also I need to get up there to this star coin. Haven't missed anything so far. Am I supposed to have an acorn in this level? I think the, the the blocks probably give you an acorn, if I hit any. Also, I see that up there. Oh, and I see that gigantic flame bar. I, I didn't see that before, but that's a big flame bar that I want to avoid. Oh, this room. This room is a bit nasty, because you have to get through it without getting crushed. And also get to the star coin over there. I'm sad that I lost my, uh, my Super Acorn there, because it was very helpful for getting around quickly. And boosting my jump when I need it. Ah, uh, but anyway. Up we go. Now where... Is this a power-up? It is. And yes, we are supposed to have super acorns in this level. Ow. Unless we get hit, because then we don't have super acorns in this level. Um, I'm just gonna... Oh, I might be in trouble, actually. I might be in a lot of trouble. Because I can't... Oh, I don't know if I can. Don't know if I can. Ooh, this is bad. I don't think I can get up. Oh, no. Nope. I don't think I can do that without a Super Acorn. And I don't think I can get one without... ...having to reset the level anyway. Oh my goodness, please don't do this to me. I'm just trying to get up. Please. Okay, this is a point of no return, unfortunately. Oh, hey, mushroom, give it to me. I need it. I need to be careful of that flame bar. What was in this pipe again? I forgot already. Oh, it's the, cr the room that crushes you. Right, I don't know how I forgot. I need to navigate my way through. Very carefully. Like that. And I see that block up there that I probably want to grab. So let's go grab that before we leave. Okay. 
So is this just a hidey hole? Yeah, that's just a hidey hole. Okay. We missed the second coin, but we can come back for it. Also, we are in the wall. And I think the game wants me to have the squirrel suit, because I don't think there's another power-up here. I think that was the extra power-up before the boss. In there. Also, I think you can probably go back down that pipe to go get the power-up and not have to go down the rope the long way. Anyway, we have to fight Kamek now. On this platform of misery. And also these platforms that Kamek spawned in. Okay. So whenever Kamek throws magic at the blocks on the ground, they turn it into donut blocks. Which means that they will now fall if we stand on them too long. And that's basically how this fight will work. Also, I think if you he throws magic at the blocks in the air, they will turn into whatever's inside of them. Whether it's an enemy or... Oh... Or... Air. Possibly... Possibly sometimes into items? I doubt that, though. Please? Oh, actually, I think he just breaks them all open. Never mind, but I got him anyway. I love the magic pattern on the blocks. It's a classic Mario thing as well. Oh, hey, Nabbit. Did we get Nabbit in? Yes, we did. I just... Seems like we didn't. Ah, uh, but anyway, I want to get Nabbit. Nabbit is good. And then let's go back for the star coin. Seesaw, sure, seesaw shrooms. All of the uh, uh, alliteration. With the S's. Catch Nabbit. This is gonna be interesting. Especially with all the angles playing against me. That's okay. Ow, and also enemies. Oh, I'm gonna be in trouble here. Oh, but you have to wait there. That works well. Cool. Another P acorn. Lovely. My collection is magnificent. I almost have them all. Actually, I do have them all. Apparently. You've caught Nabbit in every world. Congratulations. And I believe Nabbit can actually respawn now. Possibly in previous worlds. Now that we have him in every world. Okay, let's get this second coin. Which means we need to have power-ups. So, so I need to play well. Imagine that. Um, I also need to be very careful. Oh my goodness. Great, great start. Oh my gosh. Good job, me. Oh, hello. I don't know if I can really get you. Also, star power. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I want the mushroom. It's more pressing than the star power. Star power is cool, though. Okay. Making our way up. I don't think... Oh, that's a block there. That wasn't a block there before. You are just the rudest kind of person. The block comes out of the wall. Oh, moment of realization. Oh, bad. Oh, bad. That makes a lot more sense now that I actually saw it happen. Anyway, let's grab an egg. Nope, no acorn. This is unfortunate, because we're, get, uh, we're approaching where we need to be. Also, I think Nabbit only respawns in previous worlds if you use up, uh, if you use up the P acorns. OK, 
Okay, let's get rid of you. And now we need to get into the wall without taking any damage. Oh, I'm being not very careful. But I need to be careful. So let's go on the wall. And now we can get this, and then we just need to get to the end without dying. Don't fall like the, uh, that, please. Okay, let's grab that. Okay, no more deaths. I don't need to go into the secret for the third star coin. I just, I just need to climb. Also, I should listen to what I said. And try to survive and avoid the giant flame bar. This seems like a deadly path, but that's okay because I've made it to the top. Now we just need to take out Kamek again. Or Magic Cooper. Ma Magic Cooper. I don't know what to call it. It's fine. Okay. Teleporting around. You can hit Kamek when he's teleporting around. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Very nice. Circle, square, triangle. I don't want to be below you. Oh, you dropped them. Okay, that's how that works. Okay, could you be a little bit closer? Thank you. And we're good. Won't end until I reach the ground. But there we go. That's half of this world complete. But that is it for now, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.